And now to an aid on your side warning about hurricane price gouging. Businesses are hiking price of food, water, ice, gasoline, and hotel rooms, and that is illegal under state law. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Mike Vasilinda joins us now live in Tallahassee. So, Mike, apparently many businesses, they haven't gotten this message, and we see this every time a hurricane rolls around. Indeed, we do, Josh and, as, Josh. and as of about 15 minutes ago, the Attorney General's office told us that 1,800 people had called today to complain about being ripped off by businesses jacking up their prices. Food, water, ice, gas, lumber, and even hotel rooms and rental cars are covered by the state law that prohibits price gouging. Do you know what they normally sell it for there, sir? But many businesses haven't gotten the message. Nonstop, yes, sir. They're continuing coming in on a regular basis as fast as we can answer. Indeed, the calls are coming so fast, 20 operators can't keep up with the volume. That was a gas complaint from Jacksonville. Yes, sir. Most recently, we had uh, gas had gone up a dollar a gallon. The calls are coming from across the state. The folks were charging $10 for a 12-pack of water. Too high. Well, it's, uh, we're going to have investigators go out and take a look at it. The Attorney General's office says every complaint is being investigated. Did a business, uh, you know, intentionally inflate the prices because a hurricane was coming and they saw a lot of, of need? So those are the things that we'll be working out right now and probably in, in the days and weeks that follow the storm. Investigators will first try to get a merchant to return prices to normal. If that fails, big fines could be on the horizon. Penalties can be $1,000 per violation, up to $25,000 within a 24-hour period. The most complaints today, yeah. gas, water, and ice, followed closely by hotel rooms and rental cars. And while those are the big complaints now, the law literally covers anything people need in an emergency right down to the tarp to cover a hole in your roof. And Josh, each case is subjective. The law says that the merchant has to grossly, uh, the price must grossly exceed the average price of that product over the last 30 days. And even then, merchants get an opportunity to say, look, my price has went up. I've got to pass it on. All right. It's good to pay attention, that's for sure. Mike Vasilinda, live for us. Thanks so much. Now, if you suspect price gouging, there's a number on your screen you should call. It's 1-866-966-7226.